Good morning. Today I'd like to talk to you about a pharmaceutical drug known by the commercial name Aranesp and by the scientific name of Darboquetin Alpha. Now, Darboquetin is primarily for use in patients with anemia that result from chemotherapy and those with chronic kidney disease, also known as CKD. What we'd like to talk to you about is a, a fairly common serious adverse event that occurs in patients with CKD, known as hypertension, that is high blood pressure. First, let's talk a little bit about the backgrounds of how dalrophilitin works, its mechanism of action, some common side effects, other serious adverse events you've experienced, and what exactly hypertension is. So let's start with the mechanism of action of dalrophilitin alpha. Dalrophilitin alpha is a synthetic form of a drug naturally produced in your kidneys known as erythropoietin. What erythropoietin does is primarily it signals and interacts with your progenitor stem cells to achieve higher blood production. They basically say, make more red blood cells, and it does that. Now, the second mechanism of action of dobroquetin is it's a vasoconstrictor, that is, it constricts your um, blood cells and veins. So, if we think of your whole body's blood system as a series of pipes, uh, the first thing it does is it increases the amount of water moving through those pipes by stimulating red blood cell production. The second thing it does is it makes the pipes a lot thinner so the water moving through the pipes moves faster. That's the vasoconstrictor part of everything. Now, what happens with hypertension is you have very high blood pressure. That is to say, the water is moving through those pipes really fast. That's how darboquetin works, because for patients with anemia, they have low blood pressure, and the water is moving very slow, so it's not able to achieve all the work that it needs to do. Now, a few other things that we'd like to mention about darboquetin is it has a few common side effects which you'll normally experience, which include shortness of breath, coughing, low blood pressure during dialysis, abdominal pain, and edema. That's swelling of the arms and legs. Now, the more serious adverse events were recorded in a phase three clinical trial that concluded in 2009. The total trial participants were um, in the over 4,000 patients with CKD, and for the subset of this trial, which included 766 patients, in which they took a look at serious adverse events, 31% um, of those patients reported hypertension. That is, 237 patients of an initial study group of 766 reported hypertension. Now, there were a few other serious adverse events reported during the study. Uh, they included dyspnea, peripheral edema, so on your sides and edges, coughing, hypotension, which is the opposite of hypertension, angina pectoris, vascular access complications, uh, hypervolemia, uh, arrhythmia, and arteriovenous graft thrombosis. Let's talk a little bit more now about hypertension, which is your primary serious adverse event risk. That is, it occurs in 31% of patients with chronic kidney disease. Now, patients with chronic kidney disease normally actually typically get hypertension during the course of their lives because they have some difficulties um, living with their condition, and it naturally lends itself to that. So you're going to see some correlation between those two variables in the study. Now, high blood pressure, the blood's moving much faster through your system, causes a lot of stress on your system, on your organs, most particularly your heart, because your heart has to work a lot harder to keep moving that blood through. So over the course of your lifetime, it will cause uh, damage over time to your different organs and systems which is the primary reason that hypertension is a serious adverse event, and it's very significant to know if you're ever going to take down the button, which is why we made this video to inform you of the risk of this event if you ever have to take down the button. Thank you very much, and have a good evening.